All right, testing. One, two, three. Making sure audio is coming in all right. All right. Hello, everybody. Legendary Renegade here. We're starting a new live stream series here. And yes, as I posted on my Twitter page, today is my 25th birthday. I figured, you know what? If I, I'm going to be doing a stream on my birthday, I want to be playing a game that I really like a lot. It's probably one of my most favorite games of all time. I already did Sunshine for... I already streamed Sunshine. I haven't fully completed it yet with all the blue coins. I mean, if you want me to go back and do that. But I figured, you know what? I have Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I'm going to be playing through Super Mario Galaxy. That was, like, one of my most favorite games on the Nintendo Wii. In really all time. It's going to be interesting playing this game with a controller rather than using the um, Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Stinks that I can't use me profile icons anymore. They only give you four icons to choose from. You'd think they would have added more. Like, where's the love for Luigi here? Well, might as well use Mario as basic as it is. All right. So I gotta use the. Pro, I'm using the Pro Controller here. I'm gonna test out how it works. So every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I've been waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. Yeah. I always thought this was one of the best looking Wii games, and now that we have it in HD resolution, I think that's like really cool. So I use the. It's kind of interesting using a controller to play this game, like a tr standard controller. Don't have the spin just yet. Oh, the camera is also fixed in some areas. I'll try to grab some of these star bits. I think I remember completing this game, well, twice. One with a Mario playthrough and one with a Luigi playthrough. I figured, you know, this is probably... It's up there in terms of my favorite uh, games, like Mario, Nintendo. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I'm dropping frames here. Oh no, we got Bowser's airships. You can't just have a nice little festival here. He has to crash the party all the time. Speaking of parties... Uh, earlier today I went to see Thor Love and Thunder in theaters. I won't spoil anything about the movie, it's just... Yeah. It seems like a nice book-ending story for Thor. Even though... I don't know. I mean, given how... They announced the new um, set of films and TV shows that are going to be coming out for Phase 5 and 6. There's definitely a lot to go for, you know, in terms of content. Sort of sprinkling some stuff to get people interested. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. Jeez. Toads, you are useless. This festival's over. Jeez, Bowser. Where did you get all this stuff? I get the airships, but how'd you get the spaceships? Oh, and she's like, oh crap. And I can't break these toads out of these crystals. They're trapped. Panic and fear. Panic and fear. Yeah. Aren't you guys supposed to be the royal guards or something? You should probably be doing a better job defending. Yes, Peach. I get- I hear you. I'm coming. Just 
taking my time here. I wonder, are the, are the meteors proximity based? Can you actually like use them to break open the crystals the toads are in? Yeah, I'm back to 3D All-Stars with this, since this is the easier method for me for streaming and or recording games. Well, you know, the Galaxy in particular. I do have an original copy for my Nintendo Wii with a completed save file, but I figured, you know, I don't have the necessary cables to upscale it. Or the correct capture card. So the 3D All-Stars collection will do. I don't know why it says I keep dropping frames. Oh dear god, no! The fact that he just takes the entire castle with him is just crazy. Like, I'm not just gonna get the princess, I'm gonna take her whole castle with me. And I know this is a video game and all, but how's Mario breathing out here if he's up in the outside the planet's atmosphere? It's kind of weird how that UFO moves. Oh, it's kind of blinking a bit there. It's blinking green lights. And then here comes Kamek. Kamek. Yeah, I guess they figured after Sunshine there was too much talking, so they just have characters make sounds and just have text on screen. I'm pretty sure Mario could survive that. Oop, that little star got away. Obviously, I know the plot of this game and how it turns out, but I figured. Baby Luma. Oh, I do love the music for this game is just phenomenal. Oh. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Oh, Gateway Galaxy. It's just... Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful piece of music. So calming. This is probably one of my favorite soundtracks for the Mario series. You know, it's... The fact that they went with an orchestral soundtrack for this game is just... But the fact that it starts as soon as you get to your... Well, technically, I guess the big band music starts when you get to the first main... I guess once you get to the first main planet after this. But this is just a... Lovely piece of music. I have to say, they really nailed the scope with this game. Yeah, so I know where all these little rabbits are hidden. Let me know if I'm still... if the quality is going down a bit, because... I turned my VPN off, so I'm not sure why it's not giving me a good signal right now. the grass. The fact that they give you hints on where the bunnies are is... Yeah, the coins really don't do much in this game in terms of... I think if you collect 100 you get an extra life, but there's really no other reason to get the coins. Kind of feels weird to have to use the, um... the gyro controls for the switch con for the pro controller might try out the Joy-Cons next time. Anyway, besides streaming today because it's my birthday, I'll, um, I'm gonna be moving at the end of this week, so I'm not gonna really have time to be streaming Friday, so I figured today would be the best day to do it. Oh, I'm trying to find where this Luma is. It's in the grass, but I'm, I'm trying to find where the grass is. Oh, it's right here. 
Okay, I press the ZR button to fire star bits. There we go. Is it just the quality? My stream, the bitrate says the stream is excellent, so I'm not sure why it's so... Why the frames keep dropping. Oh, yes. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. Now, I could just... I can do this and just climb up. I'm behind you now. Oh, now I'm in front of you. In terms of characters, Rosalina is probably one of my favorite. I just like her design. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Not the little baby Luma. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Use the ability to spin. Shake the Joy-Con. You can also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. She's very celestial. Like, you know, she has all these powers and stuff, and it's like... Probably one of the favorite, one of my favorite aspects about this game is like, you know, you have the story, you know, you need to rescue Peach from Bowser, but as you unlock more galaxies and you, as you um, unlock more galaxies, you know, you get, you have the library. I can also, yeah, I can just spin by. And here is this launch star. Shake or press Y when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. Now, as happy as I am that this game, that the 3D All-Stars collection has this game on it. You know, I wish there was Galaxy 2, but, you know, besides the graphical update, you know, with the HD, you know, HD resolution and all that. Though, see, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Oh man, Into the Galaxy. This is just such a amazing piece to open up with. I mean, it's, it's a short piece, but oh my god, it's so good. I remember when I was actually... When this game was... Before this game came out, I've earned one additional Mario... I remember when this game came out, there was a demo of it at GameStop. I think the demo had Good Egg Galaxy. You could play through one of the missions there. I was like... I was getting lost because I was... I think I was just like nine years old or something at the time. But again, I wasn't... I was like, I, uh, on the part of Good Egg Galaxy where it has that platform that sort of goes up and sideways that kind of leads to the black hole. I was like wondering, is this like a portal somewhere? And I was trying to get in it, but I couldn't... For some reason, I couldn't get inside of it, and then eventually, after doing some, I think some specific triple jumps, I was able to, and then I realized, oh wait, this actually kills me. So then I realized, okay, I can't have, can't have that now. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake or press. Once they're stunned, just run into them. I'm not sure what these things are called. Goombas, Galoomba... No, not Galoombas. Those are from Mario World. But these only drop coins. This is the regular Goomba bag. I mean, you know, this game, you know, it has its tutorials, but it doesn't, like, railroad you in a lot of regards. Really, in terms of how you progress, it's just a matter of, like, per, um, experimentation with the different jumps you have. We got the sling stars, nice. Okay, got that Goomba. You know, the game is teaching you how to use the mechanics without, you know, force, forcing it down your throat, essentially. 
Yeah, I'm concerned about my stream right now. There we go, there's the key I need. the music once you get inside here with this like we've been waiting for you this like drony tech synth thing that's a grand star we have to save it they're using the grand star to power that awful machine it looks like it's making something we have to do something before the grand star's power is drained quick find a way to stop that terrible machine yeah let I me mean... so yeah just get on these switches here Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. Just thank you for that. I was already aware. Now I just gotta fly. Yep. Besides the quality of, you know, one thing I really wish they fixed with this version of the game is that they, you know how in the original, how in Galaxy, every time you save and quit the game, all the lives you've collected are just reset to four. So, like, you can't save your lives. Like, if you want the max number of lives, you have to just continuously keep playing without quitting the game. Once you do, it just, you, you reset back to four, and I don't get why they did that. I love this piece, though. A little short piece, but still just phenomenal. And the fact that you're getting these Grand Stars and bringing it to the Comet Observatory. You have this little sequence Mario flying to the Grand Star. I mean, flying to the Observatory and then putting the Grand Star into the Power Core. Yep, it has a little energy back. And this hub world is much smaller compared to the previous ones. It's very confined. All of the levels are inside these domes. Now, as for, unlike Sunshine, I'm gonna go for everything in this game. I discovered a new galaxy, the Terrace. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power stores, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. I have a request. Hmm? This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Oh. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is the one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Save the game. Oh, yep, we got our hub here. Yep, Terrace is the first area. We have all these other areas that we're gonna unlock as we progress. Of course, the green star. And yeah, um, before that cutscene, I said I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing all the power stars and missions in this game. You know, unlike Sunshine, where 
getting 100% can be very tedious with having to collect all the blue coins, you know. In this game, there are, you know, the method of getting 100% is much simpler. It's simpler, really. You know, there are still some difficult missions to do, but it's not com but it's not overly frustrating as having to find 240 blue coins or um, doing 100 coin missions, even though those are in this game somewhat with the purple coin missions, which we probably won't be getting to until way later in the game. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can daze up gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. If you lose sight of the pointer, you can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the star directly on the screen. The fact that you can actually use play this game in handheld mode is pretty crazy. But yeah, we have a traditional control scheme. These are the galaxies that can be observed from the stone. The number represents their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. So yeah, we have our first galaxy to unlock. The Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. The fact that you just launched these galaxies from the Earth Observatory, I found was just always so aw breathtaking. Dino Piranha, first level of the first world of the game. And now I'm just gonna wait for the scene to play out and just wait for us to land in the galaxy. I'm glad they start the music as soon as you land and not when you're like entering it. Oh, good egg galaxy music is Simply amazing. I can still do the homing ground pound. Nope, too far away from this. What is it, an Octolumba? Hmm. I'm so used to, um... Um, Odyssey, where you have the, um... The dive maneuver that you can use. And I got my first little hidden area. Don't have any star bits yet. Oh yes, the musical notes. But yeah, as I stated, this is one of my most favorite games. I just remember getting this. I think it was for Christmas. The year it came out, and I was just in love with this game, with the, you know, the scope and the, you know, the things you can do. There were some levels I did have trouble on, of course. The Manta Ray, I think, was probably the grand example of one of the levels I had difficulties doing the first time, because I wasn't sure how to control, you know, how to get it controlling properly. The fact that these star bits are so abundant, it's like, you know, they're, they're essentially rock candy. There's no, you know, denying that. But, you know, that's pretty cool how they make them so, you know, it makes you just want to grab as much of them as possible. And obviously I'm going to need to collect a lot of star bits as well if I want to get those extra levels unlocked. Coins don't, in terms of this game, coins don't really mean much. They wouldn't really, I guess, use, start using coins until the next game, where they sort of have coins as like an unlock criteria for certain things. But you know, that's it's been a while since I've played Galaxy 2. You know, Galaxy 2 is definitely just as an enjoyable game as this one. You know, it's definitely longer to complete, given how many, given how much stuff there is to do in that game. I think I was supposed to... I have to go on top of this house, don't I? Nope. Yeah, I'm in the mindset of Odyssey where I think I have the 
dive maneuver, or I have Cappy that I can use to just throw my hat. Again, there's, you know, the levels are definitely more confined compared to 64 and Sunshine, but I feel there's still plenty to do in this game in terms of content, and, you know, the level variety is pretty good, I think. You know, the space setting, you know, that's, I think, what a lot of people really were fascinated by. Oh, wait, I'm, this is the bottom part of that area. Oh. Yeah, but after playing Sunshine, it's good to have, like, abilities like the long jump back. It's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm trying to... Oh wait, I have to go up here. I have to go, um... Up here, that's where I have to go. I'm getting my missions mixed up here. Yep, right here. My friends are ahead, hurry. Okay. You know, the first level is just... I know you can spin these rocks if you hit the red crystals that are, like, sort of sticking out. But you gotta time it right, otherwise you're gonna take a good chunk of damage. Well, not too much, but you don't want to get like that. You don't want to get hit like that. Again, Mario, unlike Sunshine in um, 64, only has three hit points. Though, unlike 64 and... Unlike 64 and uh, Sunshine, you can't really, um... You don't lose health from, like, being underwater, per se. You have, like, a separate air meter for that, which is pretty, you know, that's more, I guess, convenient than just using your life meter. I don't want to get caught in this mud, so I gotta... I'm trying to get that last star chip. And, you know, this was probably one of the, the most popular games, and it's still one of the most best-selling games on the Nintendo Wii. And there you go. I'm just gonna go down here. Oh, these things. I hated these things, because they can just skimp your jumps. Ow. See, I'm going to be doing all the missions in all the galaxies. So, this will be quite a hefty playthrough. But, you know, I feel this won't take nearly as long as Sunshine would. I might try using the Joy-Cons next time, though. See how that feels. Because moving the pointer with the gyro aiming just feels... I mean, I can get used to it. It just feels kind of... I'm so used to the Wii Remote Nunchuck combination. Oh gosh, that was close. I know there's plenty of things you can do in this game. Oh yes, nice. Got a nice bunch of star bits there. I'm trying to aim the pro controller to try to get those star bits that are fluttering away. Though I should probably spin at these guys to... It's a nice little attention to detail. If you spin at them, you get star bits, I believe. And if you jump on them, you get coins. You know, given that, you know, the spin is a new ability that Mario gets from the Luma. While the jump is something he's had since, you know, the beginning. Okay, the drop frame seemed to be going down. Oh. Ah. Okay, here we go. The first... Looks like I got our, we got our first boss here. Nice little rendition of the underground theme here. Yeah, this boss isn't really too difficult. You just gotta hit its tail. The... I always thought it was a coconut on its tail, but it's obviously something else. 
Ow. Okay, that's the first time I've actually run into it. I was trying to get the star bits and I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. This kid. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I better not. There we go. I just didn't want to take the... Okay, I gotta hit it again. At least they give you some means of being able to recover health in here with the, you know, hitting the flowers. First of many power stars to get in this game. Still plenty left to go. Of course, Xenoblade 3 comes out at the end of this week. I'm just finishing up Xenoblade 1, though. Don't want to be burnt out from that. Yeah, I got to get ready. Friday I'm moving, so no time to stream. Maybe I'll try to squeeze in a stream next Sunday or something. Nice, we got our first Power Star. Those star bits, those are, those are star bits. Tulumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your screen and point your pointer at them. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can also collect star bits by tapping them directly on the screen. Once you have some, shoot them by by aiming, I don't know. Using, in handheld mode, it feels weird kind of using your finger. I mean, you could use like a, a stylus or something, but you're essentially taking one hand off the screen to you know one hand off the screen and then the other hand you're trying to aim mmm tasty let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson you can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry luma either way I'm sure star bits will be a big help on your adventure We still don't have enough stars to get these other areas, but let's head into Good Egg Galaxy again. And later tonight, I'm gonna be going out for dinner with my family, so a snack of cosmic proportions. Of course, you know, I asked for today off from work because knowing my luck, they would have scheduled me to work today, and there's no way in hell I'm working on my birthday. Uh love this piece of music, this track. You know, and one thing I am glad they did with this 3D All-Stars collection is they put each of the game's soundtracks on it, so, you know, you can listen to them. You know, I don't know why Nintendo just doesn't make this stuff readily available. You know, make it available on iTunes, or Pandora, Spotify, any of that, because people would buy that stuff. I mean, these are some of the best soundtracks from Nintendo. And, you know, given the fact that they've taken down a lot of YouTube channels because they had Nintendo music, is like, come on, this wouldn't, you know... Well, if you're, if you're gonna take down the channels, try to at least make the music available so people could then, you know, actually enjoy it. Because this collection, you know, while it's still great, it has the soundtracks for Mario 64, um, Sunshine, and Galaxy. It's like, there are other soundtracks I like, too. I remember seeing a lot of channels get copyright strikes because they had Nintendo music and they said, we're just taking down all of our Nintendo music because, you know, they don't want their channels to get terminated. So there's a bit more dialogue because they have to explain the controls for handheld mode. Okay, you gotta hold. And these loading screens are really cool too. It's like, you know, you know, you're zooming to the other planet while it loads in because, you know, you can see them in the background, but whether or not they're actually active is, you know, if you were to like glitch your way across if like the planet towards are at, have their actual like hitboxes and everything. Yeah, collecting 50 star bits gets you one extra life, so. And I know I said one-ups don't really mean much once you quit and save and quit the game because you're automatically set back to four, which, you know, it's kind of weird. 
in the previous game, in the previous two games, you could get as many lives as you want and then save and quit, and you still have the same amount of lives when you got back, so. Yeah, I think this level is just mainly used to get a lot of star bits if you're trying to do that. Because, you know, I could have used that launch star to just go to the next planetoid. But, you know, I'm here, I might as well. Because, you know, some of the later missions, you know, for getting to unlock them with the Hungry Lumas can get pretty expensive. So, you're really encouraged to collect as many of these things as possible. You know, it's not just a means of getting you an extra life. Though I rarely find myself dying in this game. Maybe the exception being the Daredevil boss fights, because, you know... Essentially, it's a boss fight and you can't get hit once. So, I think Boulder Geist was always the hardest one for me, given how many projectiles are just thrown at you. Oh yes, there's the Hungry Luma here too, in levels, so you need to make sure you have enough star bits as well, because they can unlock hidden stars that you can collect in certain levels. And it does, you know, it does add to the star quota, you know. Really, all you need to do to unlock the next major area is just get the Grand Star in that pers pers respective dome. Just having trouble speaking there for a sec. But yeah, I should have more than enough Star Bits to feed this Hungry Luma. Yeah, you got me tasty Star Bits? If you feed me a bunch of Star Bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need a hundred Star Bits to curb the hunger pains. Yeah, make sure you're aiming directly at this, because I have missed sometimes. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform! Yeah, they become new planets, as all the... A new planet was born. It's, a, it's an eventuality for Lumas to either become stars, comets, or planets. So, you know, you're helping them along with that. Just feels weird that, you know, once they transform, they can't, you know, go back. But, you know, I guess that's just the fate of Lumas. Ow! You get out of here. I'm gonna stop you. But yeah, make sure those green, like, things don't hit you back because, you know, I mean, they don't damage you, but they knock you back and you lose star bits if you get hit by them. For those who have not played this 15-year-old game at this point. God, this game's 15 years old. Oh. That was close. I can use my wall jump to get here. Again, there's so many, you know, with, you know, you're given all these techniques, you know, they will eventually tell you how to do some of these techniques later on in the game, but, you know, if you just experiment enough with some of this stuff, you can just really learn how to do it on your own. And you can, like, just skip portions of the level by just, you know, doing certain maneuvers like this. Well, if that actually worked. There we go. Now, in terms of that planet, it's not really, you know, later on, later, like, Hungry Lumas usually unlock planets with extra stars. That's more just like a shortcut you can take, I guess, to get to this planet if you wanted to. You know, obviously, once you get the Hungry Lumas in later levels, we usually offer, like, you know, have extra challenges that you can find. Oh, he didn't hit me there. Oop. Like, look at that. I was able to skip a good portion of this just by using my... You know, experimenting with my jumps and all that. This is also... I think this track is called Space Fantasy or something. You know, it's a little simple track, but, you know, it's just very... Again, it's like one of those sort of, like, calming tracks you listen to while you're, like, trying to get to sleep or something. Oh, I think I went 
the other way. Yep. I think they've, like, I've seen a lot of videos on, like, 30 minute cycles of videos that mi mix Battle Rocks music with this track. And it's surprising, and it fits actually rather well. Like, the instrumentation and, like, you know, how they overlap one another. And here we go. The star we've been looking for. But yeah, you got all these planetoids back down here. You know, the anti-gravity setting, you know, really makes them be, you know, really allows them to, you know, experiment with how, you know, level geometry and, like, how players can walk on certain things. Like, because, you know, if you were playing in another Mario game, you couldn't really do this, you know, you couldn't place items like this. Now, I know I technically don't need these blue star chips. I could technically just... If I think with enough precision, I can just long jump like that. I think that is the third star I've collected, so I can technically unlock the next galaxy. You've discovered a new galaxy. Yeah, and usually since I go after as many stars as I can get... Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Gotta hit the R button to reset the pointer, because sometimes it can get lost on me. Yeah, I could unlock this next galaxy here, which I believe is the Honey Hive Galaxy, yes. But I think I'll finish up Good Egg Galaxy here. You know, since I go out of my way to collect all the power stars that I can in the respective dome, I usually unlock pretty much most of, if not all, the levels in the next dome. King Caliente's Battle Fleet. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's the top of the house, like, where you have to go. Well, you can just do this kind of stuff here. You know, spinning rocks. Those type of rocks can sometimes get you star bits. I'm not gonna stay down here too long. Because I know. Head up here. Oh. Got another extra life. I know they want you to take the orange pipe to get up here. Like, there's an uh, orange pipe at the bottom of this. But I can just do this as well. Or not. Do that, exactly. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory. Oh, yeah. You can exit the level, but anything you've collected will be lost. Strange how you can never travel to those planets there. Oh, looks like we got our first trapped toad. Woo, you saved me. Thanks, Mario. In return, let me tell you a secret about this place. Apparently, those spiky things just hate coconuts. Shake or press Y to smack them with coconuts. Yeah, you're really sort of... There you go. Yeah, you gotta... Given all the different spiky... Those spiky, um... I don't know if those are plants, fruit, whatever they are. They, uh, you just... You can't touch them, so you gotta hit them with this coconut. Now, you don't have to spin at it all the time. You can just slightly kick it if you need to get it closer. Like... Like, these ones will just really drop coins. Ooh, but I do see those. I actually never noticed those before. Do I need to hit these? I can't. Oh, I need to probably break the bubble that they're in with the star bit. Overthinking this. I got a camera won't shift for me. Oh, 
too far there. There we go. Yeah, I lost a star bit, but I gained some more. Alright, I probably should head on to the next planet, actually. If I could just find where the launch star is. Here it is. I mean, the sling star is what it's called, that particular one. Oh, yep, I gotta get this pokey. You can just do that. There is a bit of a delay between the spins, so you can't really spam them. So you gotta be careful with that. I always kind of like the sort of background these areas have, like, you know, besides the music, like, the sort of dark matter-esque. Like, it's like you're in this sort of, like, different dimension. You know, they could have just, you know, made this a simple black void, but they made, you know, added it this, like, sort of, sort of wave-like DNA sort of thing. Oh, I caught part of probably just grabbed this. Yeah, but... The Rainbow Star, you're invincible. Now I know this is more used for these chain chomps because you can't damage these things without the... It doesn't last long though, I gotta say. Like that, yeah. I mean, I guess that's the net nature of the Invincibility Star. It's not meant to last forever. Power-ups in this game are kind of weird. You only get them access to them in certain levels. And even then, they're somewhat limited in some regards. Just- oh! No, can't do that. Oh, uh, I guess I was at an angle, so I was just running right into that. Oh yeah, these bullet bills will home in on you, so... I mean, you can use it to destroy the chain chomp heads, I guess. Ow. Got an extra life. I think we're approaching the main planet, though. Oh, the music's gonna be changed. Oh, we got this ominous... The fact that these things naturally spit out coconuts is like, are they just constantly digesting coconuts to be able to spit them out like that? going. I guess every world, not every world, but most worlds have more than just one big boss. Oh, we got the... The, uh, Extender Mushroom, I forgot. The Life, not the one-up mushroom, the Life Mushroom. It gives you basically three extra hit points, so... Usually they give it to you before you go into a boss fight, so... It's, you know, handy to have. Though if you're careful enough, you won't really need it. I think one of these Lumas can give you one as well. Be careful, there's big, big danger up ahead. If things get really bad, shoot a star bit at one of those lights on the ground. Then a coin will pop out. Grab it to replenish some of your life. Yeah, again, if you just experiment with this kind of stuff, you'll know how to do it. We got King Caliente. This gigantic fire lava in this thing. Unlike those other ones, he'll spit out some, I guess, fire meteors? Those will hurt. 
You can't spin those back, unfortunately. They're too hot. And he will start sending it back. Though so not really that much. Now he's lost his crown, so he's really pissed now. He sends out these little potabos, I think. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mario is very vulnerable if he gets hit by something that, you know, like anything fire-related. And down goes the king. The one thing this, about this game is they kind of have a... It's not all the time, but there are some instances where they will reuse certain bosses. Like, this isn't the last time we'll see of this guy. He'll show up later in the game. There are some extra stars in some worlds that won't open up until you meet certain requirements in the game, like getting to a certain area. You know, they let you save after you complete every mission, so... Saving is never really an issue. Still can't unlock these. Got Honey Hive Galaxy next. What is this? B Mario Takes Flight. Oh, it's the first of the power-ups. I like the... This one is like a... Sorry about that. This one is a suit that, you know, as long as you don't get hit, you keep on. Though I also believe you also can't get, you know, bees can't go into water, so you can't go into water with it, otherwise you lose the suit that way, so. Got a little extra one-up sitting right here. No I, no, I don't need it, but it's always good to collect them. What do you have to say? Welcome to the Honey Hive Kingdom. Our queen rules this land. You know, I could just easily go by and clear this level. But, you know, there's stuff to see and explore. Got these piranha plants here. I spin at them if I get star bits. Go in this pipe here. Ooh. Is there an invincibility star here? Oh, yes, it's down here. You could just spin at these, but it's easier to just run into them once you have the invincibility star. Like this. Gotta be quick though, because this will run out after a bit, so... If I could just... do move a lot faster, but it becomes kind of hard to control at some points. Right back in the honey hive. These things. If they were an enemy, in, there was an en enemy similar to that in Sunshine where they could block your flood nozzle. Yep, we got the bee mushroom. Gives you the power to fly, but you're kind of slow and you don't. It's not very fast. See that area behind the waterfall? That's our queen's castle. You transformed into B Mario. Hold B to buzz around. Yeah, you do have a flight meter, so. And you drop like a rock as soon as you run out, so. It takes a bit to get going. And your spin attack sort of gains this honey-like glow. Like you're spinning honey. There are some things you can only do as B-Mario, mind you. 
like climb up honeycombs. I'm just wondering what made them think of these though. Just curious, I guess. And just go down here. Oh, missed that one up, but I don't really need it. Oops, so close. You know, running out of a bean mushroom is never an issue. Oh. Yeah, you gotta press this at just the right time. You just have enough flight meter. Also, as Bee Mario, you can stand on these flower pat platforms, because as regular Mario, I guess you're too heavy, so you break them. Honey is heavy. I guess you don't move as slowly as you do in Honey than you do as regular Mario. I don't know, you still kind of move slow, though. Oh yeah, don't want to fall down there. But yeah, I think as... Oh, no. Time this just correctly. Oh yeah, these are the ones that actually shoot rocks at you. Ooh, nice juicy bunch of star bits here. Yeah, don't get don't hit these water spouts either, because those will cause you to lose your bee suit. And just hover up here. just climb up these honey walls here. There's an entire galaxy dedicated to this later in the game. Oh, just an uh, area to get extra star bits. I'm wondering for this collection, did they have to like completely rebuild this game from the ground up when they were porting it? I'm, I'm just wondering because, you know, obviously it's a different control scheme. Yeah, collecting coins also refills your fly meter, so it's good to collect them if you're running low. Yeah, you can just climb up here too, though. Oh yeah, you gotta go all the way with that, you can't just stop. And who might you be? A physician, we presume? No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. It's weird how she was made a playable character in Mario Kart 7, but they... Ah, uh, ow, ow. Yeah, that happens if you... Oh, I actually wanted a coin from him. I actually wanted a coin from that. I know she was one of the characters in Mario Kart 7. That's one thing about Mario Kart 7. I like a lot of the tracks, but there's no versus mode in that game. You can only do Grand Prix or Time Trial, which is like, kind of stinks. My thanks, you have shown much bravery, newbie. We trust that we may rely on you in the future. Yeah, it's, it's one of the... I have Mario Kart 7, and there's a lot of cool tracks in that game, but you can't... Unless you're playing with people, friends online, you can't... Or you can't really play it alone, unless you're doing Grand Prix or Time Trial. That was the game that was also worked on by Retro Studios. One of the few times a Mario Kart game was actually, I think, worked on outside of Nintendo R&D. Oh, Captain Toad, you're here. Ah, Gabi! Wait, Mario, hey, it's you. We escaped from Peach's Castle, too. But then we thought Bowser would get us, then we got lost with Luigi. Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. This guy will eventually get his own game! You have the... You got the captain, you got the study toad, you got the guy who likes to mine, the purple one who likes to play around, and the yellow one who's always asleep. Not even sure how he made the squad if he's always sleeping. Yep. 
Yeah, sometimes if certain story events play out in levels, you'll just be brought back to the main, like, outside area. We've got a new galaxy discovered. Mario. Your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario. It has such a nice ring. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you'd best hurry on over there. And now, like, as you progress the game, like, the music for the, the observatory starts off, like, with, like, a couple instruments, not too many. But as you collect more power stars and unlock more areas, it starts to build up. Oh yes, this is the male toad. Howdy, Mario. If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. Where are we? I want to go home. I'm so homesick. Yeah, aren't we all, buddy? The Lumas are going to build us a ship. When it's done, let's go look for Princess Peach and Power Stars. Mario, somehow we made it too. We'll help you get the Power Stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Yeah, I'd like to believe that. And then here's this, uh, studious toad. It's some kind of mobile space station controlled by that Rosalina lady. But who exactly is she anyway? She's not a witch, is she? Is she? No, that's ridiculous, right? Uh, you'll eventually learn to trust her. Yep, it's the first time we're re-entering a, a dome here. New galaxy showed up? What do we have here? Ah, uh, loop-de-loop -loop galaxy. Do another mission in Honey Hive, and then maybe I'll do loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, pfft, that's not what I meant to hit. I was trying to get a sip of water, and I hit the B button by mistake. Well, that's kind of awkward. At least they let you exit out of it if it's not the level you selected. They don't just lock you in. Trouble on the tower. Nice little platforming challenge. Yeah, as soon as you're like launching into the planet, you can just collect whatever star bits you see in the distance. Now, if your pointer is close enough to it, you can get whatever star bits that are there. They just fell from the sky. The rock just fell from the sky. It was scary. This is how you get over to this area. Oh yeah, I remember messing this up a lot first time playing, because I was like, do you have to like, hit the... Yeah, can't really get any star bits there. You know what one of my favorite things about this game is just the little waddle mark walk that Mario does whenever he's like crouched. When you're like preparing for like a backwards high jump. Stop that wiggler immediately because if you just jump on it, it'll make it mad. You know, every level, every like little level in each galaxy has its own little section that takes place in a different place of the level, so. Oh, this is probably one of my 
I like this. Yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick to the wall after a jump, press B to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. Yeah, and like they ha the different boards have different names, like Gilboard, Billboard. There's actually a billboard, but you know, it's like, yeah, you know, they knew what they were doing when they were localizing or writing the localizing writing the script for the game. Gravity is actually pretty good in this game. Remember how in Sonic Adventure 2 how I was always struggling with the anti-gravity? Oh. oh yeah, he does get mad if you don't do anything about it. If you'll leave him waiting too long. Oh, Rainbow Star. The after images the star leaves when you're like running around with it. Yeah, also another thing Mario doesn't suffer damage when he falls from a large height anymore. He just makes that noise. It's like, yeah, I can do this. One of the changes I'm glad they brought over. Look at that, I skipped that entire section down there. Oh, I can just do this. Those, what are these? I gotta get the windmill running. Can I make it? Nope, nope. Too, it was too far away for me there. Pretty straightforward, just gotta stomp on these bugs. You get the top one, and he's like, oh shit, you killed my buddy. Well, you know, just do that, not really too hard. Well, they don't cut to the star music, they just keep playing the honey hive music. I think I'll have more than enough star bits to feed the first of many hungry Lumas that show up. I think I'll take a do loop-de-loop -loop galaxy. Now I think these are this is one of the few galaxies in the game where it only has one power star, so there's no like extra stars here. Surfing 101. I think I remember seeing a Twitter post, someone said they were able to modify the um something with the level where they're able to change like how the water is placed like you know how the pathing for the water is for the course it's like god people really have a lot of time on their hands i'm wondering wah, 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 are you a surfer too uh sure why not oh but this is your first time race surfing right well then let me show you the ropes now let me explain Try to match the guide on the... Yep, that's the basic position. To turn left, twist left from that starting position. Correct, that's how you turn left. To turn right, you've got to twist to the right. 
Well, it definitely feels more intuitive here than with the Wii Remote Nunchuck. Hold down B to speed up. That's all you need to know. Now give it a, a go on the course. Can I get those star bits? Oh no, I can't. My sensor isn't working. I'm wondering how the heck we get to the course from here. It's just like there's... Just zoom in there. I think you just have to beat the time here. Well, yeah, I could say here the control for this definitely feels a bit more tighter. So I'm not, like, turning too much. And this course is, you know, this is meant to be a beginner course. It's the later one in the game where it gets a bit more tricky. But once you get the hang of how this controls, it's really not too difficult. I hate how they just tease you with the star bits, though. Let's see it. I can't really stop. Like, you have all these star bits, but you can't grab them. I'm trying to hit the R button to reset my cursor, but it's not letting me. I only grab coins. One minute, three point five, fifteen seconds. One three, congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. In this case, a gold star. else to say. Oh wait, I could probably... Can I grab star bits from the course here? No. I'm too far away. Or there's none in my view. Seems kind of weird. I can't grab those star bits. Galaxy complete. There's a new galaxy. Oh, we got a hungry Luma. The first of many. We need one more star in order to get the hidden base here. But I'm going to complete the rest of the missions that I can right now in this dome in each of the galaxies. So it's... Big Bad Bugaboom. Oh, geez. Yeah, that. I guess they got mad at me for killing that last guy. Oh, yeah, the music's more frantic here. It's like a faster paced, more frantic version of the Honey Hive theme. Ah, uh, the whole Mandabug clan has infested our kingdom. Oh, that's what they're called, Mandabugs. I knew they had to have that name, I just forgot what it was. Well, it's time for somebody to get clear out this infestation then. I think after, if you keep doing that enough times, you won't get any star bits from those. Ow. I'm trying to time light. Oh, he wasn't even aware that I was on top of him before, sucker. Oh. I wonder if they made those things specifically look like fl Flood for a reason. There has to be a reason why they're, they look like that. Oh crap. Yeah. I think it's weird how they don't have that like da 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 that last dunk. Ow! I I keep doing my ground pound too early. I could use that. Need the 
flea suit to get over to that area. You know, I'll just get rid of this guy while he's here. No survivors. And take the pipe back down. Or I could just... No, that's kind of too far, actually. Just spawns me right over here. Now, obviously, they have these water... They obviously expect you to go this way, and they put those water... You know, guns there. And you could just do this as well. You know, I don't even have to fight these guys. I'm just like... just getting the star bits, really. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's like I was ground pounding on the side of him, but for some reason his hitbox was active. The neighbors are causing trouble again. Way would be most grateful for your assistance. Hey, you just cut right to the chase on it. I can't believe you treat him as neighbors. you think they're more of an infestation problem. Yeah, you actually gotta fly here, otherwise you will fall into that black hole. Now we got the big bad bugaboom himself. Pretty simple. Oh, nope, I missed him completely. Yep, now he starts flying though. You're really supposed to use the... And he starts dropping bombs, too. I forgot about that. You gotta use either the honeycombs or the flowers to, like, get high enough to be able to reach him. You also gotta time your ground pound, which I'm not doing. Luckily, he doesn't go the full way around the arena. You can just do this. Oh, now he gets really mad. He has three hits, as per usual, with Nintendo bosses. He gets a lot more erratic. Yeah, he starts, like, turning his whole body, so, ain't, you know, hitting him on the back is, like, a bit trickier now. There we go. can't leave a level with a power-up, though. Like, as soon as you grab the star, you lose your power-up. Yeah. 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 The last galaxy to be discovered here. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Now I'm gonna wait to unlock that. I'm gonna do this galaxy first. Flip Switch Galaxy. The game that would introduce that con- that was a lot of other Mario games would bring this back later on. Painting the planet yellow. Really not too hard, you just gotta get all those flip switches activated. You gotta worry about this thing too. And I think I remember the first time seeing Mario, like, electrocuted to, you know, if you take, you know, if you get electrocuted, obviously, you know, too many times. Oh, shoot, whoa, whoa, okay, that was very close. It's like, if Mario, like, takes his last hit by getting, like, shocked by something, you know, it just leaves his skeleton. Oh, frick. Uh, well, that's my first time falling into a black hole there. I'm losing one of my 27 lives. Probably should start on this side, actually. 
Yeah, because it's trying to long jump from different gravity, like from a different like angle of gravity is kind of weird. You don't get the distance you think you should. You also gotta wait, because you can't re turn these switches off if you you gotta like leave the switch to yeah, see, like, look at that, I, just by shifting the gravity, I wasn't getting as nearly as enough distance. Ow. Oh, crap. Oh, we might see it sooner rather than later. You're not really painting the planet yellow, it's more green now. And everything shuts off, thankfully. Including this guy, he just acts as a glorified springboard. star bits to collect there. Well, I might as well show off this thing. The Hungry Luma. You, yeah, you got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star, I'll burst with snack happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 400 bits to curve the pain here. And I think it goes up by 400 every time a new Hungry Luma shows up, so it's good to collect as many as you possibly can in levels. And they don't just transform into planets, they transform into entire galaxies. Symbolized by that little portal there. The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. And you can immediately just go right into it. It only has one star, like the other short ones like Flip Switch and Loop to Loop, just one star. I remember when I first got to this level when I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, everything looks so delicious. I'm gonna be having some cake later on tonight, that's for sure, with my birthday. A nice little remix of the Super Mario Brothers 3 theme. You know, it's not, the soundtrack isn't all orchestrated, you know, there's some like synth or techno-y based music, but you know, that's fine. I still think they're pretty good, you know, compositions or remixes. I like the, you have the different ice cream like flavors here that are symbolized by the colored panels. And little shapes, like, for cookie cutting. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh. Yeah, I gotta be careful, though. Okay, yep, yeah, you got a little checkpoint here. I can't go any further. Don't stop there. The star is right around the corner. These um, galaxies aren't meant to be too long. Usually they're pretty short. Just a matter of the challenge you face. Where in this one, you just gotta really just avoid falling into the... Like that. Falling into a pit like that. I was trying to go for the one-up and I got too antsy. Luckily, again, they are very generous with checkpoints here, even if it's not always visible. And the star bits that you collected respawn, so you can technically just farm star bits this way. Just, you know, keep dying as long as you have lives to spare. And look at that, the live I lost has already been recovered. I don't know why they have the electric, um bars there. We got a power star. I love mint chocolate. Yeah, mint chocolate's a pretty good flavor. Spin these strawberries to get some star bits. So wait a minute. Yeah, it's kind of weird because like you see this, the tow brigade is building their ship in the observatory and you go into this level and they already have a completed starship. So it's like, did you just have one of those lying in your back pocket? Sweet, sweet galaxy, Rocky Road. Alright. Oh, 
now I think it's time to go and face the... Yeah, and then it just becomes a pink lumen that turns into a launch star if you want to ever head back to that galaxy. But yeah, we've done all the other missions we can do right now in the galaxy, so there's only the enemy base. It's just Bowser head. And the music changes too. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Once you beat the level, I think it just shows the actual stage. Because right now it's just a Bowser head. It's like, are we actually going to f play a level in Bowser's hair? Mega Legs Moon. I thought this was always one of the most visually scope impressive levels because you're climbing up this gigantic robot here. You know, it's just cool how you're like slowly dismantling it. Oh yeah, and these Goombas, I'm assuming these are Goombas. They're wearing these helmets that you can't jump on them. You gotta spin them and then jump on them. Yeah, they are Goombas based on the legs I see. But they only drop, oh. Ow. Oh god. Gotta get a coin. I gotta get that bullet bill to... You're probably... They probably want you to get rid of these Goombas so you don't accidentally run... Have the bullet bill run into them. You want them to break this cage here so you can get the... Long star open up. Yeah. You made it, but I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. You probably shouldn't have said that you had Grand Star as the power source. But even then, I guess we could have detected the energy from the observatory, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's like the... It doesn't seem that big when you're far away from it, but as you get closer, like, you think this thing is huge. And, like, as you start climbing up on it, it sets off the alarms. The fact that it has bullet bills on its, like, knees and legs to shoot at it. Oh god, that barely hit me. Climbing up the different cogs here. Break the cage. Seems simple enough. Just break this cage to get the Grand Star. Nope, it's not that simple. Now you gotta break these individual gate, um, gates here to... Really, it's just a matter of guiding the bullet bills. You're not really fighting anything. It's more really just a platforming challenge with... Really, I want to say puzzle solving, but really you're just guiding the bullet bills. You have to get close enough to them so they lock in on you and then just break the cage. Or break one of the gates. And you gotta be quick about it because these gates will start coming back up if you don't break them in time. Ow. And the bullet bills can run into each other. It's just kind of weird. Sometimes you have to... And you can't jump inside this, I don't think. Okay, I broke one of them. I can get lucky enough. No. Yep, and that gate ended up coming back up, so... You gotta be quick. And these bullet bills have no sense of self-preservation. They will lock on to whatever it is they see. And down goes Mega Leg. Second Grand Star. Now it's up to a Class 5 star reactor. I like how the panels start lighting up and then the energy streams. Now unlock the next area. Discovered a new galaxy. 
Yeah, I got two new galaxies because I got enough power stars. Look. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. Mm -hmm. This com The Comet Observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Mm -hmm. Once all of the power is restored, we will be even able to fly to the center of the universe. Yeah. Oh, the power is on in the new dome. Yep, the fountain. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Well, I don't think I'll be forgetting the location of these domes. But yeah, this side of the observatory is still without power, which means we can't unlock this area yet. Actually, no. One thing I like is how you can just sort of go all the way. If you can just walk enough far enough back here, yeah, you can see the whole observatory. Oh, now they have the starship built. I thought it takes longer to build that, but I guess they. I guess if you do the Sweet Mystery Galaxy, I guess they needed a functioning starship. We've finished building the Starshroom Starship. We'll use it to search for Power Stars, and we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate, um, well, me. Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. Sure, bravery, let's go with that. Oh yeah, you can just keep getting light, um, one-ups from that. The Garage, your one-stop shop for intergalactic starship repairs. Oh yeah, you can't die here. If you fall off, you just... You just... They'll keep bringing you back. Oh, but... But yeah, this is like another later area of the game. Can't get to it yet. We haven't unlocked... Gotten enough power back over here. There's still plenty to explore. And the observatory does become livelier, too, with more Lumas showing up as you restore more domes and... I think I remember one time I tried to, like, see how far I could fall before the gravity field, I guess, would save me. Now it's like right there, you can't fall off that... And unfortunately it sends me back here because, you know, these don't count as being on part of the observatory. But yeah, if I fall off, like, yeah, it's like... But yeah, we got, we got through essentially the first dome here. So, we got all the stars we can get there right now. Now the next area to head to is the fountain. We have a new galaxy, you can see your list of stars you've collected. Best race time. Yeah. So as you progress, you'll start unlocking more stuff. Whew. But I think I will call it here for today's stream. I got through the first dome. Next stream, it'll most likely be... Hopefully I can squeeze a stream in once I'm set up properly in the new apartment. I'm just gonna... Gotta get my computer stuff packed away. So it's gonna take some time. Maybe this next weekend, this upcoming weekend, I'll be able to squeeze another Mario Galaxy live stream. Because I have to get ready to go to dinner soon with my family. Don't want to be late for that. But yeah, if you guys really like, you know, what are your memories with Mario Galaxy? You know, your experiences with playing this game. Did you get it on the Wii originally, or did you just get it for the first time if you were able to get the 3D All-Stars collection? I'd like to hear about that. But yeah. Interesting, you know, it's gonna take some time, but I'll get used to being able to use a controller, the Pro Controller, to control Mario in this game. Thank you. 
but I feel this is going to be a very nice adventure going forward. It's been a while since I've played Mario Galaxy, but I still think I have the know-how on how to get through it with relatively easily. So yeah, I'm going to call it here, so I want to thank you guys for watching the stream. If you missed it, I'll post it on my YouTube channel, maybe Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm going to be working, so I'm not going to have much time. Maybe I'll try to get it up tomorrow. Return to the title selection. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want to see more... If you want me to go back to Sunshine to collect the rest of those blue coins, I mean, I can try to do that. I'm going to need a guide for that, though, so... And a lot of patience. I know it's weird how I started with Sunshine, then Galaxy, then 64. I think I got like three copies of that game now. It's crazy. But yeah. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. Stay safe out there, and take care.